Hi, I'm Nico and welcome to another episode of Where is Nico? In this episode, I'm going to tell you the top six things you need to do in Yunnan province. Let's kick things off with probably your starting point, the city of Kunming. If you're planning on spending a few days here, then head to the nearby town of Shilin to experience some otherworldly rock formations that feel like on a different planet. The Stone Forest. This is really easy to get to from the town. There's a direct bus that'll take you straight to the park. I was looking into coming in the stone forest that I really wanted to go and the more I looked at it, the more I realised that actually it's quite expensive to get in. I read it was about 175 yuan per person, which is quite a lot of money. Luckily, my friend Yareth from Go Kun Ming told me about a smaller stone forest called Naigu. It's a bit further north, a little bit harder to get to, but it's totally worth it. This place is just as beautiful, it's a bit smaller, and the best thing about it is there's no one here. I literally haven't seen another person all day, apart from the people that work here. This is the most quiet place I've been in China. Also, it's a fraction of the cost. We got in for 50 yuan for two people. So if you've got WeChat and Didi and Google Translate, then I would definitely recommend coming here over the main Stone Forest Park as it's just amazing. People will then hop on a train to the next city, Dali. Once a mecca for Western backpackers, it's now more of a loud tourist city, but there's still some great things to do. See some incredible views of the city and of Lake Erhai by getting up high climbing Mount Kangshan. This hike is not strenuous at all and offers some beautiful scenery. Now there's a few different ways you can get up here. You can get up by chairlift, cable car, and there's a path that joins them all together, like goes through the middle. We can walk up like we did. Um, the path to walk up is just lots and lots of stairs. <laughs> so many stairs. So if you're not too bothered, then I would maybe just advise getting the cable car. If you want a bit of an adventure, then take the stairs, but you can't really see that many views so it didn't really benefit us apart from the fact that we did some extra exercise. When you get to the middle bit there's a path that goes all the way like I mentioned which is really nice it's got some spectacular views and there's different sites along the way like a few temples and some pools and stuff. Um, we just took in a couple of hours in one direction and then we're going to head back down and yeah it's a really nice way to spend the day. There's some places that you can get some supplies but I definitely recommend bringing some water and some lunch with you because for Chinese standards there's not as much around that you can get. But it's just really nice to be out in nature. After you've worked up our appetite, then head to Dali Old Town to experience some incredible food. Surprisingly, Dali has a great selection of Western restaurants. Head to Bakery 88 to experience that real European taste of bread and cheese. 
head to the Serendipity Diner to get that all-American feel with their burgers and cheesecakes. The cheesecake was so good, we had it three times. And Blue Gecko Cafe offers some great cuisine from around the world. Try the local speciality, Dai Chicken. It's delicious. Next stop on the Yunnan train is the old town in Lijiang. I was surprised at how relaxing and quaint this place is. If you take yourself off the busy main street and get lost down its little alleys, there's loads of nice things to see. As I wander through the streets of Lijiang, it's easy to get lost. There are lots of different winding ways that you can go, but that's part of the beauty of it. I'm here on a Monday afternoon and it's really quite pleasant because it's not that busy. But I imagine on a public holiday or a weekend, it would be a different story. To get a real authentic experience of Yunnan, then hop on a bus to the nearby village of Baisha. This town is so peaceful and relaxing, it makes a refreshing change to the touristic spots that we've been to. Spend the day meandering through the streets and taking a look at the local crafts. Finish it off by sitting in a coffee shop and watching the world go by. By this time, you're all relaxed out and it's time for some adventure. Head into the mountains to tackle one of China's most famous hikes, Tiger Leaping Gorge. You can do the hike in however many days you like, but I suggest the longer the better. Soak in those views and enjoy the friendly guest house hospitality. Oh my God, I just saw a snake. <sighs> okay, that's quick, let's go. So yeah, it was definitely a change to the relaxing towns that we'd visited before, but it was amazing. Wow, just look at this amazing view. We've really taken our time to do this Tiger Leap and Gorge hike and it's totally worth it. The views are just absolutely stunning in this area. And if you can, I would do it over a few days. Just enjoy it and take in this amazing landscape. This province is one of the most diverse that I've seen in China, not only with its landscape, but also with its culture. These are just some typical things that you'll find in Yunnan. Leave me a comment below and let me know your favorite thing to do in the region. If you like this video, then give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more China-related content. I'll see you next time.